Is our current model of the solar system incorrect? Does this YouTube video prove it? So there's a video on YouTube that got Flat Earthers all in a tizzy um, because it's a lunar eclipse and um, the shadow comes in from the top of the moon and apparently, according to Flat Earthers, this couldn't possibly happen. There you can see downtown St. Louis in the nice early morning sun, which is getting very bright on the eastern horizon behind us. Yeah, we'll get that in there again. So you can see it's practically day here, yet we still have the moon out, which is slowly eclipsing. Okay, so it's now about 7.04 a.m. And over my shoulder you probably cannot see anything, but through the stacks of the refinery back there we can just we can just barely make out a little bit of the moon left. It's about two-thirds the way covered with Earth's shadow and it's turning a sort of pale orange pinkish color. Um, the shadow comes in from the top of the moon. When this was discussed in a forum I couldn't really figure out how it could happen either because I don't really think that well in 3D like a lot of flat earthers so um, I decided I'd try and model it so this video is is seeing whether you can model this uh, behavior in, uh, in in 3D. I have a, uh, some software called Celestia which can model uh, astronomical events and you can dial in a time so I dialed in the time and place for uh, for where this eclipse took place. So here's what the simulation looks like from out in space. You can see the moon going into the shadow just about there. It's in the shadow of the Earth there. It's eclipsed, it's eclipsed, it's eclipsed. And it's going to start coming out of the shadow around here. It's coming out of the shadow, out of the shadow, and it's out of the eclipse zone now. So that's what it looks like from out in space. It's a bit hard to see exactly how it might look from uh, in, from here when you're sitting on the in St. Louis, but we can go down to the surface and have a look what it looks like there to see how the simulation matches reality. Okay, so I've got my Celestia set on the correct date and I've travelled down to the surface of Earth at the uh, correct location and I'm pointing the, at the um, camera at the moon and I'm playing it here and this is the, what the simulation uh, captures and you can see yes the uh, an eclipse happens here you can see the moon gets uh, darker at some point in this clip I click the uh, the it's a control E that turns on and off the shadow of eclipses and so you see it the moon just brighten up I just wanted to see what it looked like without the eclipse shadow in place so you see that flicker uh, bright and then dark again so that is the moon being eclipsed. Um, it's a bit hard to see here exactly which direction I think the shadow is coming from. What I've done, I've, uh, I've just uh, extracted this little part of it, the, the, uh, the clip, and then I'm sort of rocking backwards and forwards here. And you can see oh, definitely that, yes, the, uh, the shadow is coming in from the top of the moon in this simulation. It's actually coming in from the top left, which is uh, very similar to um, what we saw in the actual footage of the eclipse uh, in the YouTube video. So this simulation in Celestia is reproducing ex pretty much exactly what we uh, what was observed on the ground by these uh, YouTube guys. Okay, I'm going to try and do a little practical demonstration here. So here's my globe, that little dot there, that is St. Louis where they're standing. There's the North Pole there. That's east and west, so uh, they're sitting at that dot there and they're looking out into the west where the moon is um, because the moon is uh, is setting and the end they when they look behind them east is where the sun is and the sun is rising and the planet is rotating in this direction so the, uh, the, and the camera here is where the sun is, so the camera is at the sun side. So the earth is rotating this way, so the sun is coming up. That dot where they're standing is moving this way and you're starting to get more and more sun. So that's kind of like, well that's noon there, that dot is right in front, the sun is right, right overhead. Um, the video starts at around this point, right, when the, uh, 
when the sun's just coming up where that dot is just starting to appear on the horizon there. Okay, now we have the moon. It's in an orbit. It is in an orbit and it is turning in the same direction that the Earth is turning. So it's rotating around like this, but it turns at one turn per month. So the camera is the sun. The camera is projecting some shadow off there into the distance and the moon rotates slowly into that shadow. So as the moon rotates upwards, it comes into the shadow and from the bottom. So it rotates around into the shadow and that's why you see the shadow coming in from the top. It travels up and the sh into the shadow like this. That is why we get that effect on this video. It is actually, you know, makes perfect sense when you model it out in 3D.